Hi guys, Nick here from technologic.com and today we are having the latest device from Lenovo, the Lenovo K8 Note. This device is launched today in India and it will be available in two colors which is the gold and the black one. Right now I'm having both the colors as you can see these devices look something like this. Personally I would suggest the golden one because it looks more elegant and premium and the color is also pretty soft. Rest it depends on your choosability and your criteria that what color you want and what is your personal choice while buying the device and while selecting it. The device looks something like this in uh, both the colors the black one and the golden one as you can see in the video. Hope you get the proper idea. So starting with the build part of the device it seems to be pretty handy even after having such a large display of 5.5 inch. Starting from the top over here we get uh, earpiece, LED notification, a 13 megapixel selfie camera, different sensor and nothing much which we need to explain. Coming little bit down, over here we get 5.5 inch Full HD display which gives quite good colors and is also covered with 2.5D curved glass. Coming little bit down, over here we get back capacitive keys which don't light up. Coming down portion, over here we get dual speaker grills out of which uh, the left one is having the primary mic in it and the right one is having the actual speaker which gives quite good loud feedback. Between them houses a uh, USB type C port which support fast charging as the device is having a 4000 mAh battery. Coming to the right portion, here we get volume rockers and power lock key which gives quite good haptic feedback while you press them on regular basis, no issue with that. Turning to the top side, here we get 3.5mm audio jack which is identical in almost all, every device, nothing new. Coming to the left side over here, we get one additional button which is a red color button and also made up of metal. It can be assigned as a whatsapp button, it, it can be assigned as a music button, it depends on you while going into the setting part, you can change and assign a particular thing for that button which is new and unique thing for any android device just like what we see in some high end devices. At the left side only we get dual tray slot just like what we get in C9 Pro. Nothing new over here but still in this price range I think this is the first device which is having uh, such kind of dual, high, uh, dual same tray slots in the device rest it is pretty heavy as it is made up of metal and the large battery as it weighs you about 180 grams starting with the software part and the ui it is having the stock android which is uh, pretty nice in the lenovo device because most of the time lenovo is powered with their own skin and their own ui but this time they have uh, uh, install their stock android because the stock android is pretty smooth and gives more power coming to the specification we are getting the helio x20 3 processor which is the latest processor and uh, is going to give some good performance. We get 4GP of RAM and 64GP of internal storage which is nice. Uh, the UI is pretty smooth. Coming to the setting part we get uh, uh, Android latest version which is Nougat which is 7.1.1 which is nice and uh, we are getting almost all the update coming to the internal storage. Out of 64GB 14 point something is already covered and out of 4GB uh, as you can see this much amount is already covered. Coming to the back portion of the phone we are getting the dual camera setup which is a 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera which captures quite good images just like what we see in Honor 6s and other budget devices. Uh, we are also getting the fingerprint sensor at the back which is pretty fast and beside it the LED flash which is nice. The whole back is made up of metal and the top portion and down portion is made up of plastic. Uh, we are also getting the Lenovo branding at the back. Overall the UI is pretty smooth. Coming to the camera part it uh, is having the stock uh, software only nothing new over here but uh, still I would say it captures some decent images. Coming to the portrait mode or we can say the in-depth mode using which we are going to use dual camera takes quite good images as of now in the indoor lighting it is still captures some good images but uh, hope I will be testing this device later in future in our other video so stay connected for that if you have some particular question do comment down below i will be happy replying back to each and every question so hope you guys like the video that's it for the video guys thanks for watching if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to the like button and do comment and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya and keep rocking